going on, guys? So about a year ago, I think, uh, yeah, probably about a year ago, I posted a YouTube short, me dragging this 04 Discovery out of a field I've been sitting in for eight years. Finally getting around, have some spare time to work on it. Um, it says 2004, it's in this seafoam green color. I think it's like Vienna green or something. But it's got the cool, rare, tundra colored interior. Motor's no good, um, so I'm yanking it out. I just pulled a motor out of a parts truck, uh, four liter, that I'm gonna be building into a high compression 4.6 for this. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda do, I don't know if I call it a restoration on it, but I'm gonna do a mechanical restoration on it, I guess you can call it. I'm just gonna go through it nose to tail, um, get it running again, and my daughter's turning 16 soon, so um, maybe this end up being her first car, I don't know. But couldn't turn it down, I got paid 400 bucks for it, so. Um, that alone, it's worth that in parts. But we're gonna try to just go through it nose to tail and just kinda touch everything and get it going again and bring another disco back to life. Follow along, guys. So this is basically the state of the engine when I got it. Heads are already off, the intake's already off of it. I've got all the um, upper intake, lower intake, and a lot of the accessories were all piled in the back, but the heads were gone. And pistons and rods are all out of the block. And it's completely locked up. So I'm gonna end up having to pull the motor with the torque converter still attached to it. Um, but went through and pulled the exhaust manifolds off and kind of got it ready to come out. Um, I'm going to pull the motor mounts now so I can lower it down so I can get to the back bell housing bolts. Then yank this turd out and maybe go drop it in the ocean for an artificial reef or something because that's about all it's good for is a boat anchor. But, um, yeah. See if we can get done with this thing. That works. I said the I said the motor was locked out, locked up. So torque converter had to come out with the with the motor. <clears throat> but I hope there's enough room in there for me to get those torque converter bolts out. I'll figure something out. All right, just starting to sprinkle rain, so I think we're gonna get the hood slapped back on this thing and call it a day but I'll call that a success. All right, so I got the timing cover and water pump pulled off. Uh, I think the water pump was bad because it was locked up, so that yeah, tells me this thing's probably overheated. <clears throat> probably where this whole whole thing stemmed from, this engine being in this condition, but we're gonna flip it over and see if we can't get the crank out. Then we can maybe get the uh, torque converter off without having to fight our way between the flex plate and stuff. But. We shall see. Holy crap. What a project. All right, so I got the crank out. Got the torque converter off. Stuck the torque converter back in the truck real quick. So, yeah. Some progress, I guess. Now, I'm going to keep this block. It's probably no good. Um, but, I don't know, I can't throw stuff that way, but the crank's definitely going... Um, the flywheel looks good. The uh, flex plate and everything looks good. So that's good. Um, oil pump, I haven't taken it apart yet, but it nothing looked nothing look tragic in there. Um, yeah. What a mess I've made in my driveway once again. All for the damn green oval. What am I doing with my life? 